double DMX backdrop. Enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay up by if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10 ounce gloves landing with four ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Submission now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. 
Oh, uppercut. Well, he split the guard beautifully there. Another uppercut landed by Tyson. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Back and forth we go. hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Rear naked choke. It's in there deep. There you go. That rear naked choke is tight. He's working harder and harder to just secure. Oh! Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Grappler's delight tonight. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Tyson. Wow. He actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. Oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, that's oh. the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut oh. on his lip. Not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, so Jarzinho Rosenstrike versus Alistair Overeem. It is not, but let us look back at some of the replays from that round because there's a cut on the lip now that he's got to deal with. As long as I ain't never got to see nothing like that again in my entire life, I'm okay calling fights. And this cut is not that, but it was the perfect shot that landed in the right spot that opened up that cut on the lip. All right, so we will see if the cut man can do anything about that and for the fighter try to raise his guard and be more sound defensively in this next round. Nice pass. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, feet on the hips here. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about Matt.